Hi everybody, welcome back to the Desmo Works channel. So, if you remember, last video we'd managed to get rid of all of the electrical systems, rear tail unit's been taken off, uh, and made solid progress in the engine changeover. So, what are we doing today? So, today's aim is to pick up from where we left off. So, the next step will be to get rid of all of the brake line and connections rear master cylinder and caliper away so that that's out of the way of the bike. We'll then be moving on to taking this, the exhaust system off and hopefully get to the radiators and then that'll be today's video. So that will hopefully leave us with the uh, engine in place, swing arm, but pretty much done and dusted. So we should be in a place to then go for removal of the frame itself off of the engine. Okay, so first things first, what I've got to do is remove these three bolts to take this cover away. Um, this cable is supposed to sit behind there already, but it's out of the way. We'll then start moving on to taking off our master cylinder, take the lines out, and then eventually drop the caliper off on the bottom here as well. Okay, so first things first, let's get this cover off. Okay, so master cylinder's off. Important piece, just keep your reservoir above the height of the master cylinder so it doesn't get an air gap in it. Now, the manual assumes that you've already removed the uh, hugger. So what I've got to do is, there's two bolts in the top here, one just inside here, and, and one just round here to get that out of the way. We'll then start taking the brake line off. So on this little carrier case here, I've got one, two, three bolts to take off, and then that will loosen the brake line and the ABS electronics line. So let's get that done. Interestingly, before I go on, I should point this out. It looks like somebody's fitted a um, over long um, rear brake line. So <laughs> it's about nearly a foot too long, so I might have to get a replacement one to put on here because I don't want to leave that like that. Um, so P clip to remove here, then one, two, three bolts to get out. Let's just proceed with that. Okay, so reservoir, master cylinder, lines, all free. All I've got to do now is take off the rear caliper, which is two bolts, and, and also the ABS sensor. Now there's some shims behind here, so make sure that you don't lose those when they come off. Okay, let's get those, uh, let's get the caliper and the uh, ABS sensor taken off then. Now that we've got the caliper off, what we need to do is remove the left hand footrest hanger, footrest and the gear shaft rod. So there's one bolt inside here, one bolt inside there, and then we just need to undo the gear shift rod bolt. Um, electrics obviously were disconnected in the previous video, so let's just quickly take that off. Okay, on to removing the silencer bodies. So we've got one bolt that sits in here holding the bracket for the main silencer and that's repeated on the other side you might just be able to see through there 
we then got to remove the two nuts off of the studs for the front supports and then we'll be undoing the manifold here and then that will enable us to drop the silencers down so let's go ahead and do that Okay, and the exhausts just come down, just like that. Now, interestingly, I've just noticed that the uh, OEM exhaust that's on here had a snapped away bolt. So you can see the exhaust was leaking out of there. Not an issue for me because I'm putting an aftermarket system on here um, when this is done, but obviously another little bodge job that was sat on this. So that's the silencers off. Let's move these out of the way. Uh, remove the right hand footrest support which is two bolts just inside there so one up in there and one just down in there so let's go ahead and get those off okay so the right hand footrest is off what you'll see is I momentarily release the right hand engine mount so you are okay to do that at the moment, two bolts there and there. That's because you can't get to this top bolt for the footrest holder without it coming off. So pop that off, take the two bolts out, push it back on. Okay, now normally what would happen is you'd be removing all the cabling for the flapper valve that sits in the standard OEM system but this bike has been modified by the previous owner so it doesn't have all of the conduit that sits down here and the cable that goes to the servo motor and everything for the, the bike. So we'll skip that step because I can't show you it and we'll move on to the next one. Okay, so on to removing the radiator. First thing we've got to do, three mil Allen headed bolt in here and here just needs to be taken off so let's get those two off first right next up there are if I just get my finger here there are two bolts holding the top of the radiate radiate assembly one on this right hand side of the frame and the other just in there so I'm just going to remove those two Okay, we should now be able to completely remove that support just by pulling it out of the way. Okay, that was the assembly, uh, radiator assembly taken out. You'll notice that um, you had to take off the little expansion pipe and that's because the manual <laughs> For engine removal seems to exclude that because it must have assumed that you've already done it so that's a little bit of an oversight on the manual okay so radiator is now out what we now need to do is take off the two primary part primary pipes on the exhaust which is relatively straightforward although you never know because of the way that uh, things corrode <laughs> Okay, and rear exhaust primary pipe is just three nuts on the back of here, so let's undo those and then get that out of the way as well. Okay, so rear exhaust manifold is off. Now the reason I had to remove the exhaust first is because I'm not using the Ducati standard engine stand for a move, I'm using this Pirabon one. 
So I've just roughly put it in place. It secures in two positions, up on the rear here via this, this stand, which I'm just gonna raise up in a second. And then just on this fin on the front of the engine via this stand here. So I'm just gonna adjust that and put that into place. Okay, so engine stand is now in place. Engine's not fully weighted on it yet because we haven't dropped the paddock stand and we're still on the front wheel. So thanks for watching again. We've managed to get to a point now where radiator's out, exhaust is off. We've taken all of the primary pipes off of the bike. The left hand footrest assembly with its gear change. We've taken off the caliper and all of the uh, rear caliper, sorry, and all of the associated pipe, master cylinder, reservoir, and the speed sensor that goes with that and then also have taken off the right hand foot peg. Next video, we'll be moving on to taking the frame off and that'll be pretty much it. We'll be in a place there where we're ready to get the engine swapped over because we'll do that, then take off the rear swing arm and then it's just getting some of the ancillaries off the engines that we'll be swapping over between the two different engines. Okay, so then I'm gonna call this video a wrap there. Thank you very much for watching once again. If you like the video, chuck us a like down below any questions or comments then please feel free to leave them down below and I'll get back with an answer as soon as I can. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, would really welcome you to the channel. Um, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button just down to the left of it for any new content that's coming out. Plenty more to go. I am sort of building up towards doing a special over the winter period that might be a race bike for a game for next season and I've still got to get this engine swap finished and uh, hopefully get this out on track early next year. Okay, cheers for watching, see you in the next video. Bye for now.